Hey, what's up? This is Laidback Luke, BJM producer, Kung Fu athlete, and dedicated dad. The uncharted territory. This is what I call China in my head. It's been a very special experience opening it up and touring it. And in this vlog, you'll get to know it a little bit better. Yeah, you should know that, that you could be my brother. Two super questions that were the top comments of last week that I'll happily answer right here. Number one by Axwell's TV. Very good question and uh, I'm actually considering making a vlog out of this. Uh, the answer is quite simple, but it will take me just a little bit of explaining. And number two by God's Creation. I saw a lot of uh, replies under there, 20 replies. But the answer is actually very simple. I currently don't have crossover hits. It's not uh, about the quality of tracks you produce. There's a big political system in uh, like what it's called plugging, which is basically showing the big bosses of all the broadcast and media systems that your track should be played. Now, when it comes to Martin Garrix or when it comes to Chainsmokers, they are signed to a big record label. Garrix has his own little sub-label, but it, it is signed to Sony. And when Sony says to the media, play this track and make it a hit, then the media will do it because they have such big artists and therefore such a big leverage to like push tracks through to the radio and have it play on and on and on. Mixmash Records is a very independent label, just a small and independent label. And we obviously do not have the leverage like the big labels have. And speaking of Mix Smash Records, in this vlog in China, I will introduce you to two of our newest members as well. Let's go in. Hey, what's up? Just uh, waking up here in Chongqing. It took such a long time to get here. I think our travel was about 22 hours. So instead of sleeping up straight, it was good to grab a couple of hours on a real flat bed. Literally only have 10 minutes to time uh, before going to the show. Over here in China, they like the trappy stuff. They like the bass house stuff. So I'll be listening through a couple of those folders. And so I got ready for the show now. Got a good shave. Got a good wax. Wait, what? Got my hair all done. Now it's time to go. What a party! Fun fact, this stage has been used by Ultra and they bought it and they put it in the club. And so I just got back to the hotel room and I want to talk to you about jet lags. I'm currently staying on American time, to be exact, San Antonio, Texas time because that's where my girlfriend's from which is uh, one hour different than New York. So it's quite the math throughout the day, but uh, luckily my uh, Apple Watch has this little clock feature that always says the American time. And uh, this way I never ever really need to deal with a jet lag. Okay, so a little bit of stress here. We uh, landed in Shanghai and in about one and a half hour, I need to go to my keynote. There wasn't any driver at the airport, so right now we're gonna go and uh, grab a cab out to the hotel. Hopefully I can still make it on time. US jet lag is working for me, but it's getting late now. It's the tour life in full effect here, so uh, I'm supposed to speak in 20 minutes. We're checking into the hotel right now. The room isn't ready. So I'll probably just change in Justin's room really quickly and then I'm off to IMS. So interviews done, uh, about to do, uh, what is it? Seminar? No. What is it? Keynote. 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 No, it's not a keynote. What is it? <laughs> panel. <laughs> Still waking up here. So about to do a panel with uh, Mr. Unity. One cross, okay. two one. cross, <laughs> crosses. And we're about to go on stage right now. With a schedule like this, the last thing you want to do is work out, but work out is exactly what we need. And good news, so Olga is joining me. Hi. And Justin, he's back. He's right here. Going back, like... But now we're gonna have uh, 
to dinner with the team and I'm gonna introduce you to some mix mash family members right here in Shanghai. So we're here with uh, one of the newest members of the mix mash family. He is from here, from Shanghai. His name is Unity. I guess the electronic music is still very young here, right? Yes, exactly. But it's rising so fast that it's really unimaginable, like how is is it's gonna go? And but the, it's gonna go big for for sure. Like the people here, they're all listening to electronic dance music, especially in Shanghai. How do you say? Hands up in Chinese. We're completely stuffed. We're out in the streets of Shanghai right now, and I want to introduce you guys to our newest Mix Mash family members, Crosses. We'll get to know what they're all about right now. He's in England, I'm in India, and we're online throughout the week making music. Yeah. That's what we do. We do it over Skype. And we just send stuff over, and yeah, we just worked like that for two years now, and it just seems to work. We met on a music forum, and uh, Ellis was asking questions about technical things that I wanted to ask as well. And I was like, "Who's this pain in the?" <laughs> but but I eventually messaged him, and we really vibe. We had this similar taste with music. Shout out Raymond. Uh, he was the one who got in touch with me, who sent a mail to me. And I was laughing that because yeah, I was like, "What? It was fake? fake. <laughs>、uh, who's this guy? First time in China is it's crazy. There's a lot of lights. There's so many lights. Big buildings too. Yeah. <laughs> surprise, surprise! We're heading out to into the Shanghai nightlife. Unity has a show here tonight. <laughs> It's day two here at IMS. I am actually bringing my laptop today.、Um, I'm about to teach an Ableton course. I'm gonna go in. I look like it's midnight. That's exactly true. But over here, it's、uh, two in the afternoon. Let's get this going. So I was on his vlog just now. It's gonna it's gonna come out. Make sure to check it out. Check out DJ Ravine on YouTube. And of course, if you're watching Layback Loose Channel, like, comment, and subscribe. So that wraps up a full day of、uh, IMS Day Two. It was fun. The panel went really well. I get a ton of respect here. They they treat me like royalty. If you're looking right now, thank you so much as well. But don't go anywhere because tonight we'll have our own Mix Mash event. Event number one actually at M2. What a party! So many people came out. I want to give a shout out to. All the industry people who came out and partied with us. All the DJs played amazing sets. Tomorrow it's Mix Mash Label Night, two in Foshan in China. So we'll travel out. We ran into so many things here at the airport. First of all, Chinese people don't like standing in line. Well, they do stand in line, but a lot of them just like run before you, which is crazy. And、uh, we're flying with Spring Airlines. Apparently, it's a super budget airline. We cannot carry on our luggage, and the one luggage is uh, uh, the DJ mixer, the Denon mixer. We're carrying on today. So Justin went to a, a counter, and then another counter, and. We needed to pay for it, and then we couldn't take it on board, and there's all this stuff going on. And this is just the start of our trip today. In other news, although it's noon here, it's 11 p.m. for me, and I am craving some noodles for my dinner. We still need to eat. We saw McDonald's and、uh, the whole menu doesn't make sense. Like nothing, nothing looks like what we are used to.、Uh, Justin just wants a quarter pound of menu, menu, <laughs> <laughs> a 
quarter pounder menu, I want a cheeseburger and we can't find anything. Jumbo wing honey lemon, lemon flavor. Georgia, they don't have quarter Oh, hey, we found the quarter pounders. Okay, let's do it. It's a seven and a half hour travel today. Can't believe it was such a, such a long day. Safe to say, I'm gonna catch you tonight because I'm gonna sleep for at least four hours. Ready for the club and I don't know if you caught it, but in the car uh, yesterday and today, was it yet? See, I'm lost. Anyway, I finished a couple of tracks, uh, which I'm super excited. I couldn't open the door there. Oh, hang on. Which I am super excited to test out today. Mix Mash Label Night, part two, China. Here we go, but don't go anywhere. After the show, I will tell you what the scene in China is all about and my thoughts of where it's going. The clubs have been packed, a lot of people have been coming out. Fun fact, Foshan, or Fatsan as we say in Cantonese of my Kung Fu, yo, is like the birth city of Kung Fu. Bruce Lee uh, was born here. Sadly enough, there is no time, zero time at all. So whenever it gets to the last show of the tour, it's like the survival of the fittest here, really trying to sleep whenever you can. Luckily, it's uh, American time afternoon, almost 3 a.m. in China. In about two and a half hours, I'll have my wake-up call to go back to Shanghai and go back to uh, Storm Festival. So I'm just going to show you the festival right now. And after the festival, I'll let you know my thoughts on the current Chinese EDM scene and I will let you know if I managed to stay on American time while I lived like a vampire over here. And I'm out here at the airport, ready to fly back, rounded up this tour. So happy to see all those people dancing in the rain. I can tell you that my jet lag is still intact, or I'm still on US time. I'm gonna travel out to New York now and spend a couple of days with my daughter. So it's important for me to, to be awake when she's awake and to go asleep when she's asleep. And China? Well, touring in China is very much of a challenge and God bless all those top 100 DJs that are breaking it open for us right now. Asia has very much been in touch with like the Western world and the Western social media and everything. In China, they've totally been secluded. Sometimes when I uh, don't catch a crowd, I'll play some, some hits and some throwbacks and they'll get it and they'll get into it. In China, this is not the case. They don't know the throwbacks that we know. So it's a very different thing. But China is definitely enthusiastic for it. They are up for it. China is super rich as well and a super big country. So I can see how this is very interesting for uh, developing the EDM scene and for getting a lot of work. If you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up and subscribe on this channel. I love to hear and see your comments as well, so leave them below. Next week, a little bit of an uproar. I've been ranting on Twitter how much I dislike DJs on a mic. Next week, I'll explain myself more and probably cause a little bit more of an uproar even. So make sure you tune back in next week. Until then, L's up, rave safely, and salute.